No, it's that unfortunate time of the day when I have to take a number two. Um, now, a lot of people might be thinking, you know, what do you wipe with out there? Oh God, it must be miserable. Do you bring toilet paper? Well, you know, sometimes, yeah, we bring a little toilet paper, um, but most of the time we don't, and we don't bring enough. And, you know, we're out there sometimes for months or a, a long periods of time, and you really can't bring an entire knapsack full of toilet paper with you, right? So you gotta get creative. And, you know, it's, it's actually not as bad as you might think that, you know, uh, you need toilet paper and all this kind of stuff, but you really don't. You just have to know what to look for. And there's a few different strategies. Often it makes sense to plan a little bit in advance if you feel a uh, shit cramp coming on because if you don't have any toilet paper you're gonna have to you know sort of look for some along route to your little area that you're going to uh, decide to have a plop in um, so one of the things you can do is look for uh, often you know just leaves and you know in the morning uh, you know, there's always a little bit of dew on everything. It gives you that nice little splashy, spritzy kind of, you know, cleaning effect, almost like a baby wipe. Now, moss is the best for that. Uh, you know, dewy moss or after a rain kind of thing. But, uh, but often it's on the leaves as well. And you don't have to go and pick one little leaf by one little leaf. You just kind of grab the bottom of the branch and you just rip up and you're left with this nice handful. Um, so, you know, it looks like, unfortunately, I was hoping to find some moss down here, but I'm not seeing any. So, um, I'm going to go with leaves today. Yay! Here, I'll show you. I'm not actually going to show me shitting. Just don't worry. So, here's a, uh, a branch. And you can just grab the base of the branch like this and squeeze and pull forward and then you're left with a nice clump of wipey leaves and look I don't know if you can tell but you see all that moisture on them all nice and soft for added cleaning effect that you don't get with toilet paper might I add don't get it Let's get some more. See how these ferns do. They're a little twiggy. They don't feel the best. All right, now. You gotta find a good spot. Now sometimes you get lucky and there'll be like a perfect log that's about toilet seat height overhanging that you can sit on and kind of overhang your butt on. But most of the time you're not gonna have such luxuries. So you're gonna have to find a spot. Now you might have to tuck, uh, you know, just a squat and tuck. Or one of the things that I find it's quite effective is just grabbing onto a tree and leaning back. This is a good strategy here, just like this. You just hold a tree and just lean back. That way you keep, uh, that way you can keep a lot of things clear um, of your general vicinity. You know, you, you can keep your pants clear and everything clear and you, you really minimize the risk of any mess getting on yourself because trust me it can happen um, and you know for guys you got to be careful because you know when your pants are down and you're going in this kind of way uh, you got to tuck your uh, your dingling back there you're gonna piss all over your pants in the front you know because you know when you go number two you use pretty much always go number one at least a little bit right so um, you know, I'd say, uh, yeah, you gotta be careful with that. And then, you know, you also don't wanna tuck it too back far, too far back, cause you don't wanna, you know, take a number two on your dangling either, right? 
So you gotta be pretty careful. There's been books written about this stuff, how to shit in the woods, stuff like that. And it's no joke. I've, I've heard of people, you know, throwing their sweater down, have a number two and somehow they take a, they, they went in the hood and didn't realize and throw it over their head. And they put their sweater back on, whip it on their head and they've shit in their own hood. So, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, we're in a rush because of obvious reasons and we don't think these things through too often, especially if you're not used to uh, going in the woods and have a strategy. But uh, just as we're talking, I have noticed some moss. So I think I might ditch this for the moss. Check it out. Again, not the best moss here because there's a lot of pine needles and twigs in this, but uh, it's nice and soft, right? Which is what you want. You want it to be nice and soft and it's moist and it doesn't break off. You might be afraid that it's gonna break off. It just, it doesn't. And uh, really gets in there and cleans it for you. So that's a good little tip, moss and leaves. And um, I'll leave it up to your imagination what I'm going to do next. How to shit in the woods.